Hi everyone, this is Kamal. Welcome to my channel Understand Tech Here. In this video, I am going to discuss about algorithm and flowchart. What they are, what's their role in the program development, what's pseudocode, how to write an algorithm using it, and draw flowcharts based on algorithms. So without further ado, let's start. A collection of commands is called a program. Programs are written to solve problems. For example, how many students failed in computer science test? Who got the highest mark? How much discount a customer gets in a department store? Arrange the list of marathon runners in an alphabetical order. So, programs are written to solve these and many other such problems. There is always temptations to open a computer and you know immediately start typing commands. However, one should not rush to immediately start writing programs without a proper planning and preparation. First, one must carefully analyze a problem, think about its solutions and make sure that the solution is correct and it is also the best way of solving the problem. In fact, writing commands should be the last step. There are various tools which assist this planning and preparation process. Among them, two very useful tools are algorithm and flowchart. As we said, the first step is to, you know, carefully analyze a problem. After that, the next step is to write a step-by-step -step procedure to solve a problem. The step-by-step -step procedure which when followed leads to a solution of a problem is called an algorithm. If an algorithm you develop is not correct, whatever good work you put to develop a program becomes useless because a program based on an incorrect algorithm is never going to produce a correct result. Therefore, a lot of time and efforts should be devoted to develop an algorithm. As said before, writing a program should be the last step. This finds the largest among three numbers. This also finds the largest among three numbers. This illustrates there could be different ways to solve a problem. We must consider all possible solutions and select the one, you know, which is simple to follow, takes less execution time and gives the most accurate result. Before trying to solve problems, in your own way and try to devise your own algorithm, you should pay attention whether algorithms to solve such problems are already available. You know, a large number of algorithms to solve common problems have been already developed using such already tried and tested algorithms saves of course a lot of time and we can also be assured that our programs will work correctly. This is an algorithm to find the largest among three numbers. And this is a program 
uh, written in C++ language. Now, compare these two and see how algorithms and programs are similar and you know, of course, uh, different to each other. There aren't any hard and fast rules regarding how to write algorithms. Uh, however, some conventions, algorithms shouldn't be too specific or on the other hand, too general. Similarly, it shouldn't be too short nor too long and descriptive. It should be short enough to clearly describe the solution of the problem. Algorithms are written in pseudocode. Pseudo means false or fake. Therefore, pseudocode looks you know somewhat similar to actual code in a program, but strict rules of programming languages are not followed while writing it. Uh, as you can see, some of the things in algorithm look similar to in a program, but of course, uh, not everything match exactly nor should match. Pseudocode should be generic in nature. It should be possible to write program in any programming language by following a given algorithm. For example, here, following this algorithm, I have written a program in C++ language. But following this al algorithm, I should be able to write program in any programming language. This is an algorithm to find the largest among three numbers. A flowchart is a pictorial representation of an algorithm. This is a flowchart of this algorithm. Flowcharts are drawn using certain symbols such as ovals, parallelograms, diamonds, rectangles, circles, etc. Uh, startup program is indicated by an oval and input process is written in a parallelogram, a conditions in a diamond, calculation steps in a rectangle and output process in a parallelogram and end of a program in an oval. The symbols are connected by arrows called flow lines. They indicate order in which actions are to be performed. So, why flowcharts? Or what's the use of flowchart? Sometimes a problem could be quite complex and its solutions could involve several steps. You know, rather explaining steps in language, it would be more easily understandable if they are presented as a diagram like flowchart. However, even for simple problems and their solutions, flowcharts provide a quick and easy way of understanding them. Flowchart is also an invaluable tool to trace the flow of a program and find mistakes in it. So how's today's video? Uh, please do leave your comments and suggestions below. I would be posting videos like this on various programming related topics. So please do consider subscribing to my channel. Also please don't forget to hit like button and share this video. So this was for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in next one.